11 months ago, I made a video calling Modern Warfare 2's aim assist completely broken and that it should be nerfed. Well, that didn't exactly happen, and now with a year down the line, we've got Modern Warfare 3's beta out, and I decided to take a look at controller aim assist again, purely because all I was seeing, bearing in mind I play on PC, is lobbies filled with controller players, even if they were on PC. I didn't see a single keyboard and mouse user at all during my time playing the MW3 beta. So instantly I knew something was going to be up. You know, people always clock onto these things early. PC players ain't going to be playing on controller if there was no benefit for doing so. So I went into my settings. I changed my aim response curve type to dynamic and turned on target aim assist and changed my aim assist type to black ops exactly the same as last year's Call of Duty and well I went into some games. Unlike last year I was in a private match with Plorex and we did some thorough testing with moving back and forth testing different speeds. I couldn't do that because there's no private match feature in MW3's open beta in any way. But what I can do is just go and play the game like I normally would, bearing in mind I don't play on controller and I haven't played on controller for anything since I played Call of Duty MW2 to test the controller aim assist. So that tells you how little I play with controller. And well, to cut a long story short, let's just say it hasn't really changed much. Let's see if I can wait for them to walk in the door and see if it uh, tracks for me. Yeah, it did. <laughs> From my time playing with the controller, I've captured plenty of different clips with aim assist kicking in. Hopefully you guys can see it for yourself. I'll let the footage roll and I'll be back at the end with my final thoughts. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think aim assist is like in MW3. Goodness. That's pure lock on. Look at that. That's crazy. We control two objectives. See, look. Enemies taking Alpha. Enemies securing Bravo. Enemy securing Charlie. Enemy taking Charlie. Alpha secure. Changing mags. Friendly fire. Watch it. Yikes. Do not lose control. Enemy taking Bravo. The mission is I'm not even moving Mystic. It's just locking on. <laughs> Enemy is taking Bravo. Hey? Switch and max. Enemy is securing Bravo. Ready to deploy. Need recon overhead. Got to stop it. UAV orbiting the AO. Friendly UAV on station. Enemy is taking Bravo. Say that's not me moving. It's just following him about. Friendly UAV online. Friendly UAV on station. Say. See, it's the initial lock on and then the tracking. Like for the tracking stays just a little bit behind, and then you just gotta sort of catch up with your stick, and then just don't forget to over move your stick. You know, you objective Bravo is compromised. Get it back. Are you marked? You're clear. We're taking Bravo. Copy that. Barrow 6 inbound counter UAV exiting the AO. No 
Fuck up. Trying to put down a guardian. <laughs> nah, none of that. Blind and I wasn't even moving the stick then. I'm with you. Confirm that one. And that one. I didn't kill him, but I certainly moved with him. Friendly UAV on station. Jumped up with him as well. Friendly counter UAV is I just alive. fire in their general direction and just it it eventually gets with the times and locks Secure. onto him. Kill confirmed. Kill confirmed. Confirmed. Friendly remote deployed. Copy that. UAV is on station. Look at it. Let's follow him, see if I can uh, get it to trace him again. Look. <laughs> Did you see that? I wasn't touching the stick. So from those clips, all I'm going to say is, if anything, you don't even need to aim down sights for a good aim assist anymore and a good lock-on. All you need to do is hold a close angle, which has a high traffic of players and you just hold that close angle and it'll lock on for you. Simple as, all you need to do is loosely use your stick behind the tracking to catch up with the player at times and you'll be on a perfect lock on. As you saw, there were times where I didn't even move my stick and I just full auto sprayed and they were down. It's pretty crazy, but considering it didn't change from last year's Call of Duty pretty much at all, I don't think it's going to change from the beta to when this game's fully released. So. If you guys want to get to grips with controller play now, it will give you a huge advantage when the game is fully released. Thank you so much for watching this video, and once again, controller aim assist in Call of Duty is completely broken.